So mm -hmm. two to three streets arose as a year-long project um, as part of the European capital of culture for the Ruhr regions. Rather than a city, it was specifically a region. And it was across three cities in that region and involved 78 participants, volunteers if you like, who lived in apartments in those three cities over that year for free, rent free. How did that idea come about? Well, I, I think um, compared to what you would normally think about doing a work, it was not only what I wanted to do, it was also what uh, the cities wanted to do. So actually, um, we came together on that. It is shrinking cities, it's poor areas, it's empty, empty houses, unemployment. So, I mean, you need that. Uh, so you're producing in a context that is uh, pretty different from, from what, what you would normally think where the artwork goes. Mm. Yeah, but European uh, capital of culture is a, is a celebration, isn't it? It's, a, it's, it's recognizably programs that are full of events. And here was a project that involved a number of people living in apartments. So how, how did that um, play out as part of the European capital of culture? In general, it is just uh, the former industrial uh, center of Germany. That was the reason why it was so destroyed, 95% of destruction. And, um, and today it is like almost 50% of uh, immigration. And uh, so, but there is a, there's a really incredible uh, expectation that things should change and things should get better. And, um, and a means of integration of all kind of uh, social... And then it sticks out in Germany totally. So um, after the coal mining was over, all, after the steelworks were over, so now what is after the steelworks is culture. Mm -hmm. And there's 30 art museums, 51 cities. Uh, there is an incredible infrastructure of culture. But now, after the crisis, culture collapsed too. So what is new is that uh, people were ready to take over other construction, urbanists, um, I mean politicians, everybody was so well informed already about what art was doing that they wanted to, um, that they had an expectation that was almost crazy. And uh, I had an expectation in art that was almost crazy. What was and, uh, that expectation? That you can do it. Mm. And not that you can do it in a museum, but that you can do it on the street. Yeah. I think the street is the most beautiful like, gallery in the world. Mm. You don't own it. You don't set the, the timing. You don't know who is coming, who is coming and who is staying home. You are not with your buddies. So it is an incredible uh, adventure each time. So 9,000 visitors came to visit these two to three streets. What did they experience when they arrived? Well, the, the subtitle of the two to three streets is uh, an exhibition in the cities of the Ruhr. And uh, I, I used all the time like references from the normal art which is uh, like literature, the book, or exhibition, or things like that. Or the visitor school is a reference to the first documentas. And uh, there was always a visitor school, but it was, of course, uh, to show the people art. That was the sense of the visitor school. And I thought like that it was so well done that we could now show to the art people the reality. And uh, so it started from the idea, you live in a street, we live in a street. You are going home, we go home. And so just to, to bring really reality closer and closer and to give information about uh, public space, but also to, to, to move over to private space and to visit people and to visit immigrants and to visit participants and to have a food, to have a meal together. And uh, so it was, it was a very uh, uh, rewarding evening for these people. They paid for that. And uh, so we, we made money that way. 
And, so uh, they would arrive and they could go on a tour or they could go on yes. an event or a dinner. Yes. And, and was there also a place where they could read uh, what was being written? No, no that they was could write, hidden. they, they could, could participate, write. they could write. Nobody during that year uh, read uh, a line out of this book. We didn't know what was in it. Mm. And I think that was very important to protect it. So two to three streets uh, took place in not just one city, but in three. Why, why did you make that choice? Well, I wanted to be uh, sure that if it was um, one city alone, it could have been because of some kind of uh, reasons that were not in the work, outside the work. It was just coincident, it was anecdotal and so on. I wanted to be able to check it. And I wanted people to be able to check it because I thought for the cities, it is essential that they can check it. And I had what do like, you mean by checking it? Uh, if it is good enough, mm. if it is working, mm. I didn't want to do anything in the streets. I didn't want to touch anything. No hardware changes. Yeah. It was all about, about software changes. It was about how to, how to include, how to make people, uh, giving it, them a new f reason to be where they were. They were in the streets. But they came from, I don't know, from Serbia or from, from uh, north of Africa. And um, why should they be in these streets? Yeah. Uh, they, they were like in little bunkers. Yeah. Each family was a bunker. Yeah. And so there's... outside of that street, so let's say there was one street in one city and mm. one street next to it, mm. you wouldn't see any difference between that street and the next street. The only difference, as you say, is in the software, is in the attitude for why they're there, is that Yes, right? yeah. and to give them pride and to give them uh, uh, a sense that they are counting, mm -hmm. that they are important, mm -hmm. and uh, that without them you cannot do it. So what was your role as artist in this project? Were you ever present as this sort of charismatic figure or, or did you recede from the action? It, it was just, it's just a question if I was visible to whom I was visible, I was there. I was uh, on and off all the time there. And, um, and, uh, but the thing was who, who would see me and who would know about me. And I think uh, the, 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 the participants, of course, they were, they were thinking I was in charge of them. And so I had to deceive them a bit uh, to, just to, the, to get them going and that, to, to get them getting there. Uh, in that space, in that place, in that time. So, and then the other people in the streets, I don't think they knew me. Mm -hmm. I don't think if I walked in the street, of course I wasn't, but sometimes there was television, you know, of course that was, that was we always did a lot of work to get away from these images uh, that, yeah. that, you know. Um, and when but, you say the participants, you deceive them, what, what does that mean? It means that I cannot do their job, that I cannot do their life, and I cannot be their destiny. And there is no art that can do it for you. Uh, I mean, uh, you have to become the, your own scenario and your own uh, place and your own artist. And uh, it's not that everybody needs to be an artist, but if you talk about creativity, why not you? So this project was a year long and elements are continuing without you. Mm -hmm. What's your moral responsibility to those people who went to live in those apartments? Well, let's let's say let's say maybe an open question. I, I didn't I didn't resolve it, and I had discussions, and they had discussions, and they had discussions among themselves. Uh, for me, from my point of view, I want to get rid of myself. And um, I think that, that art is, is a lot of knowledge, it's a lot of experience, and the last century was hugely important to, to, to give elements to people, to deal with uh, things that were left with the emptiness of religion, the emptiness of authorities, and the emptiness of democracy. And uh, so I've, I think that uh, it's an open space and I cannot resolve anything, uh, but I can initiate something. I'm, I'm, I'm like a scribe, you know. I, 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 I wrote my life all my life and uh, now I help people to write. 
and I hope I can help them a little bit to create. And I, but without becoming artist and the art and all the schmuckers. So, <laughs> so I think that I, I help them to be a bit but I won't say that I'm the solution of anything. <laughs> so your process can be somewhat unsettling or destabilizing. How does that square with the commissioners behind Two to Three Streets? Well, I'm not looking for uh, a scandal, and, uh, but I, I have to, to look that people, partners, come together and that they come over. And, uh, and sometimes I come over. What do you mean, come over? Uh, to their side, or that they come to my side. It's negotiation. Uh, it's part, maybe, f of the necessary process of change, of uh, acquiring, of, uh, of becoming. And, uh, and I think uh, that is mainly the brief of art. Uh, but the best uh, you can do is if you do it yourself. So does that process of negotiation sometimes involve smuggling or deceiving? Yeah, I would say so. It's, uh, you're, not, uh, you're not paid always to say the truth. And uh, people can't work sometimes with the truth. And uh, it's important that they move to a point that it becomes their option and their choice. And uh, I'm there just to, to sometimes to drag, sometimes to push, and some, sometimes not to be there, and sometimes to be very much there. Are there moments in that, though, where you get scared? So if you, you have, an, like with two to three streets, you have an idea, a script in your head of what could happen, but you don't know what's going to transpire as a result of setting that in play. So are there moments when you think, oh, no, you know, I didn't want this to happen? How do you shape it? How much control do you have? Well, I think that is two to three street. It's not a work that you would do at 27 years old, <laughs> you know? I mean, I was free because I had done other things before and uh, I was not looking for, uh, for getting away with it. I wanted to be my own... Uh, commissioner and I wanted to be uh, knowing for myself what, uh, what the art thing was about for myself and my life and so the, the, uh, it, it's a work that you wouldn't do uh, like um, coming out of college I would but, say. And within that, that life experience that allows you to do that, is it that um, you set something in play and in a sense nothing can go wrong because whatever results from setting that in play is the work. How could two to three streets be a failure? Oh, I mean, I can tell you it is a failure in parts, of course. I, wasn't, and I was never in my life happy with anything that I did. So, I mean, that is, that is uh, it's not a private matter. It's, it goes as a doubt into every work. I don't talk to art people so much these days. I talk to politicians, I talk to private people, but who are really uh, happy to, to take a risk. And I think uh, art was small. Art was so small, so little, so cheap. And now it's so well known and it's so big. And let's go back sometimes to the small things again. And I want to be at the beginning, I'm better about the beginning of something than about the, the end. So the legacy of Two to Three Streets is in effect this book, this tome, a very different kind of legacy than a permanent public artwork, uh, for example, in your monuments work or the new square that you've been working on. How does that, those different kinds of legacies for you as an artist resonate together? I'm not against uh, objects that disappear. Uh, I think we come out of a time where we were very proud to be able to do objects. And now we are on the edge of a time that is moving away from the objects. Your next phone will be smaller than that one that you have. And the book is chronological, 
And it's from the first day yeah. to the last day of that year, 2010, yeah. and it's every event that happened in that year, it's in it. From the soccer games to the catastrophes, uh, everything has been in it, mm -hmm. and it's been written by 871 people, and uh, it is starting, and it's chronological, and, uh, and it's starting, and it's not your name, your name is just in the end of the book. And uh, so it's one flow. So you can't tell who's speaking. No. So in a sense, it becomes the subconscious of those 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 yeah, streets, but also the visitors and the participants yeah. together. I mean, the new joys of our democracy uh, is the people, and we need a society that has a subconscious and can express their subconscious, and we need new formats. And I just wanted to make a book that expresses the respect that I have of the, of the imagination of everybody.